not risking profits already made. With the markets being as quiet as they have been over the last week or so, this morning's trading was more about defending what I already had rather than trying to make more. You'll see what I mean as you go through this very short video. Okay, let's get straight over to the charts and please remember to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll get the heads up as and when I post new videos. Okay, over to the charts. I'm trading the London session, it's the 21st of November, 8.25, so we're 25 minutes into the London Open. Already completed the trade plan with the Price Action Traders Institute members, and if you'd like to find out more about that, look in the description box below this video. There's links in there if you'd like to have a look and find out more about what we do, or even join us. Anyway, over to these trades. I'm in two trades at the moment. Euro, US dollar, took this long as it came through an entry point at 79 not doing a great deal at the moment there's just over four minutes left on this candle so just need to see what this candle does before i decide what i'm going to do with this trade and new zealand dollar us dollar took this a little while ago this was the first trade that i took got in this at 19 um, and looking for it to move out away from that entry point up through that previous day's high and up to 50 where i've got my take profit at the moment and that's all i've got there's not a great deal happening across the board at the moment not much price action Seen an initial early move on the Japanese yen. Japanese yen was getting weak. There was a bit of a spike across the board. That eased off. Then we started to see weakness in the US dollar. But it's all just quietened down now, just traveling sideways at the moment. So I'll pause the video for now, and I'll be back if there's anything else to let you know about. Just back to show you this euro US dollar. The candle closed. Price didn't break out of an area that I needed it to, and so I've punched out of that. Currently down two pips just on that one trade. Still holding New Zealand dollar, US dollar. That's um, not doing a great deal, but it's still holding its own and it's still slightly in profit. Other than that, nothing else going on right now and I'll be back in a little while to let you know if anything changes. Hi, back again with a quick update. The Australian dollar, US dollar. Had an order on this and it's been taken at 0.4. We have a price to move up out of this area where it's been in overnight and up towards this 20 level. And my take profit's just a little over that. So 10 pip stop loss giving me a 2 to 1 risk to reward on this trade. Not looking too good at the moment though. Right across the board there's really not a great deal happening at all. So again I'll pause the video for now. And I'll let you know if there's anything else going on. And in on another trade. Just taking this US dollar, Canadian dollar. As price came through one of the entry points. Taking this short, looking for it to come down through this zero zero, And I'll initially set my take profit down there at the 80 level and so that's it still very small amounts of price action taking place starting to see a few entry points coming in but um, still not fantastic but we'll see what happens this can turn on a dime it can change at any moment so we'll see what happens with these few trades that I'm holding still holding the Australian dollar US dollar very very small amount of profit showing there that US dollar Canadian dollar that I've just got in Got a little bit into the red, but looking for it to push back through that entry point. And New Zealand dollar, US dollar, best trade of the day. Look how that's powering on. <laughs> it's just pushing away a little bit from my entry point there at around about 20 level. And so that's it. I shall just sit and watch for a bit longer, see what's going on. But uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you and absolutely straight with the price action we've seen this week. It's been absolutely horrendous for London traders and even more so for New York traders. New York's had nothing at all to take from the markets. But um, times like this, when you're looking and seeing a little bit of profit and you think, well, shall I just punch out, take that? Because I'll be up for the week. I've still made profit for the week and reasonable profit as well. But um, yeah, just, just starting to doubt as to whether I should be actually doing anything today or not, or whether I should just walk away and leave it until next week. But either way, I'll let you know. I'll be back with an update in a little while. Pause the video for now and I'll be back soon. Okay, back to give you an update. I've decided to punch out of those trades that I'm in. Just not really seeing a great deal happening at the moment. And I'll know that that's no indication. There's never an indication as to what the markets are going to do. They could take off and move big time at any moment. But just the way I'm feeling about the way that the price action has been this week, the way that trading has been this week, it's been a very, very difficult week for many, not just me. And um, getting out now, I'm still seeing a profit for the week. So... I'll pause again and I'll be back in a little while to give you an update of the results and the overall figures for this week. Okay, I'll be back soon. So a quick summary of today's trading. You can see the four trades. I took two small losses here and a couple of small wins, punched out of those. And it was purely about defensive trading today. Sometimes you just have to 
rather than going out there searching for more pips you just have to hold on to what you've got and seeing that the markets hadn't changed at all we were still seeing very very small moves in very small ranges I decided enough was enough and I was going to hang on to what I already had for the week not a massive week but I still I still come out on top and today's London session just gave me another six pips on top of that so that's it I'll close down for now if you'd like to find out more about the way that we trade take a look in the description box below this video and you'll find a link there Please remember to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll get the heads up as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.